The National Film Board of Canada presents Animated Motion by Norman McLaren and Grant Monroe. Part 5 of a series of films in which McLaren concludes his demonstration and his comments on animation. The first four parts of our series have dealt with motion. By motion, we meant a shift of position in space. Such motion is the animator's main tool. But can the animator animate without such motion? Yes, by means of change. Change of light value, tone, texture, form or color. Probably the most familiar type of change is the fade out, where the total scene disappears. And the fade in. Fades are made by the animator closing the light shutter of the camera and opening it during shooting. More important for the animator than the fade out and the fade in is the mix or dissolve, where one scene gradually changes to a second related scene. To make a mix, the animator superimposes a fade out of the first scene upon a fade in of the related scene. If the related scene differs only in part from the first scene, he gets a partial mix. It can be a mix out or a mix in. Or the partial mix can be used for a change of color, a change of texture, a change of form, or a change of lighting. All change must have a tempo and fall into one of the five categories. Its tempo depends upon the amount of difference between the two scenes and more especially upon the length of the mix. Here is a range of mix lengths, a 144 frame mix out, a 96 frame mix out, a 48, a 24, a 12, a 6, a 3, leading to a change in one frame, a 24th of a second. Mixes shot one right after another form what is called a chain of mixes, a chain which may contain mixes of various durations, permits the animator a prolonged flux of light and color. Chains of mixes have many applications. For example, to animate this texture, a chain of mixes, each six frames long, may be needed. or a chain of mixes each four frames long. Or a chain of one frame changes, normal single frame animation. By way of contrast, a chain of mixes each 128 frames long is needed to animate this landscape. The quickest form of change is in one frame or in one twenty-fourth of a second. There's a pop on and a pop off and a pop from one color to another. There can be a momentary disappearance by popping eight frames off, six, four, two, one.
and a momentary appearance eight frames on. Six, four, two, one. Repeated popping off and on may not be interesting at slow tempos such as eight or six or four, but at faster tempos such as two and one, it produces the curious effect of flicker. Many types of flicker are possible. The shading on the spheres and background and the motion of the horizon line are optical illusions. This completes our study of the two main elements in animation, motion and change. Both are modulated by tempo and express themselves by means of the five basic categories. A knowledge and intuitive use of these fundamentals will give the animator mastery over his medium. End of part five and end of the series on animated motion.